We are delighted to have more and more people coming back to our church here at St. Vincent de Paul. When we see the familiar faces, even if they're masked, it's such a good experience. Now it's starting to feel like a family reunion happening almost every weekend with the masses. We'd like to let you know about a few events that are going on and soon here at our parish. And the first is Mother's Day weekend on May 8th and May 9th. Of course, many a mother would be delighted to have her children come with her to Mass on Sunday. So on Mother's Day, we're hoping that families will make a special effort to be there with their mothers as we celebrate Mother's Day weekend Masses. We'll have roses provided by EPS and available for purchase again for our mothers after Masses. I want to let you know about a few changes that are coming up with a series of phases with our seating arrangements in our church. The first phase will be starting that weekend of May 8th and May 9th. We'd like to adjust or change the seating arrangement we have had for the last year. Rather than the six feet distancing between persons and pews, we would like to begin on that weekend three feet seating distancing from each other. We will still restrict uh, every other pew in the church. If someone wants six feet distancing, the Perry Center Hall will have six feet distancing available. Mask will continue to be required inside the church and in the hall, as that is the city council mandate until May 24th. That's the first phase. The second phase after that will be six feet distancing and also every pew open. Mask will still be required. And at that time, communion lines will be in the aisles with each person standing about three feet apart from each other. Again, if someone is not comfortable with this arrangement, they're welcome to attend Mass in the hall where there will be six feet distancing. The third phase will be when we have each pew open and no distancing between people. Mask will still be required. We will see when we're ready for this second phase and this third phase, but we want you to know we're trying to respect the safety and comfort of our people attending Mass. We've seen how quickly our Masses are filling up on each weekend, and so we're just trying to anticipate the adjustments happening, especially for what's coming up very soon. On the May 22nd, May 23rd weekend, Pentecost Sunday weekend, it's going to be the first weekend where all of us are expected to come back to weekend Mass. As you know, Archbishop George Lucas is ending the dispensation from the Sunday obligation on that weekend. In other words, we're going to be expected to be coming to Mass May 22nd, May 23rd onward. Of course, there are those who are excused from the weekend Masses due to advanced age, illness, disability, or some other serious reason. If someone feels they are heightened risk for contracting or communicating COVID-19, they are excused. So we're looking forward especially to the weekend of May 22nd, May 23rd, as the parish has a major celebration of the Feast of Pentecost. We want to make this a special weekend for our parish, so we're inviting different parish groups to make it more festive by celebrating the gifts of the Holy Spirit. We want to welcome you back. Families, parents, children, single people, people of all ages, coming back home. A family reunion. We like to remind you the mass times as they have been during this last year, Saturday evening at five o'clock, Sunday morning at seven, nine and 11, and then on Sunday afternoon at five o'clock. Plan to come early as the church has been filling up. And that's part of the reasons why we're going to these different phases of seating so we can accommodate more people. The bottom line is we're so happy to see you back. It's a family reunion. And what a great time to come back on the Feast of Pentecost. So we'll see you there.